in recent years, African youth have emerged as a force for change, inspired by leaders like Pierre Lolumumba and Dr. Ambassador Arikana Chirumbori Kwao, the founder of the African Diaspora Development Institute, they are breaking down barriers of miseducation and embracing true Pan-Africanism. Young Africans must ensure that they are not divided along religion, they are not divided along ethnicity, and they must tell these thieves, we don't want your money. It is our money anyway. The day they do that and organize themselves, let me tell you, the youth have the vote. Don't be fooled by myths. These youths are not just glued to their phones. They're using social media to mobilize, educate, and demand accountability from their leaders. In Kenya, youth activism reached new heights during recent protests against the now defunct Finance Bill 2024. They mobilized to translate complex legislation into local languages, ensuring that no one was left behind. Social media played a pivotal role amplifying their voices and uniting diverse communities. It is a movement pushing for merit-based leadership and inclusive policies. Across Africa, young people are transcending tribal divisions that have plagued our nations for too long. This shift is paving the way for a more united and progressive continent. Senegal's recently elected President Faye is a testament to this new era. Youth-led movements are redefining politics based on merit and accountability as seen in the recent appending of traditional politics. The future of African continent lies on the youth. So I think the old people, their time has come to an end. Now they can just go to their, home, to their homes and relax. They can enjoy their, retire their retirement money. It's time that they give them, the young people, an opportunity. And the young people, definitely, as we have seen, they're in a position to do it. In Zambia, the youth brought about significant change by voting in Hakainde Hichilema, a visionary leader. One of his notable achievements include tackling of corruption and implementing economic reforms that have now started to stabilize the country's economy. In Ghana, there's a similar aspiration for a better future inspired by Kenya's example. The youth are now motivated not by fame, but by the potential to create meaningful change. As a young African today, some of the challenges that I face personally include lack of opportunities to be precise, employment opportunities, and also in terms of academics, the quality of education that we get, it is a, bit, a little bit lower compared to other nations. As we witness these transformative movements across Africa, it is clear that the youth are leading the charge towards a brighter tomorrow. Unity. Unity is strength. So the young generation in Africa should ensure that they are united, no matter what. We indeed celebrate the unstoppable spirit of Africa's new generation.